487. That's fine. It's not throwing 100 miles an hour, just laying it out there. Here's Paxton Lynch. Never been under center, never done a five step drop, and working on it very hard. It doesn't look too hard for him. You know, he's, he, he's very relaxed, even right. in his throws for a big guy. Takes something off it nicely. Oh, nice well job. Well uh, but his feet look, you know, they well look smooth, done. which sometimes you worry about when guys are uh, just going from shotgun to under the center. But he looks pretty smooth, top, very athletic in what he's doing. Over the top of the comb, over the This is more than what really it takes at the NFL level to play quarterback. But do you think we'll ever get to a point, as we're looking at Paxton Lynch here, where every team in the NFL will have a more than capable starting quarterback that can win games? I understand it's a team, it's a team game, and it, you have to surround yourself with talent. But it just it just amazes me sometimes that the NFL cannot fill out a roster for all the teams with a quarterback well, that can win football games. Well, Rich, I, I don't think I don't think we'll see it for a long time, especially with the fact that college football has gone to the spread offense. That that spread offense doesn't force these guys to do it, and more and more guys can run it. Here comes the big boy Lynch again. Footwork. I I spent three hours I mentioned with him a couple weeks ago. And this is what they were working on, all of the footwork piece of it, because the arm strength is there. And I think what you're seeing today with him is he's just kind of thinking it through, not really ripping it. That was good. What are you seeing down there, Kurt, with, with Big Paxton? Get it out. Jones, but bottom line is this. Uh, two and four, that's where the quarterbacks may go. And if they don't, it's because maybe somebody traded off or something happened with the agency well, over the next I've been em month emphatic about Dallas, but who knows what Dallas is going to do. They might think, they're, you know, that if Tony Romo's healthy and they draft a big-time big, big -time defensive player, they're a Super Bowl team. I don't know what they're going to end up doing, but that's where I'd be looking if I'm Dallas. Two, four, San Francisco at seven, I think, is a wild card for a quarterback. Oh,